European Air and Naval crews continued search and rescue efforts overnight Sunday and into Monday morning for more than 100 passengers stranded on a burning ferry in the Adriatic Sea off the western coast of Greece. As of early Monday morning, the Italian Navy says more than 300 people have been pulled to safety from the ferry. But about 150 remain stuck while rough seas and freezing conditions have made rescue operations difficult. We're doing everything we can to save those on board. It is one of the most complicated rescue operations that we've ever done and for which the assistance of multiple forces is needed. CNN reports one Greek man was killed after he jumped or fell into the cold and rough water, while at least four other people were injured. One passenger described the scene as like the Titanic. They are freezing, literally freezing out there. They could feel the heat of the of the uh, the burning fire underneath them on the decks above the ship, but yet they were so cold from the elements outside, these rough seas, these high winds. We can see the fire down in the lot. Our shoes have started melting on the floor. The floor is burning. Authorities say the fire is believed to have broken out in the ship's car deck Sunday near the Greek island of Corfu, but aren't sure what ignited the flames. One truck driver who was a passenger is quoted in CNN saying trucks filled with oil were, quote, packed like sardines on the vessel. And according to Sky News, officials believe the ferry was holding about 195 vehicles when the fire started. Of the more than 450 passengers and crew originally on board the burning vessel, the majority are Greeks, while dozens of others are from various European and international locations. For Newsy, I'm Jay Struberg.